wish I could go to a party and not wanna leave. I wish I could look in the mirror and like who I see. I wish I could stop saying sorry, even when I say something I mean. I wish I could just be the person I wanted to be. I get way too in my head sometimes. And the only thing I know is I Mic check, test one. Testing one, two, three. 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 Middle one sounds a little weak. Testing. Testing one, two, three. Yeah, nothing. Testing one, two, three. Test one, two. Testing one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, test one, two.
Simple.
tempo. Well, the back speakers are a little loud. Yeah, tempo.
Nick, you want to say something to the world? I'm good. Let's say something. Let's, we got we got something to say. Give him a quote of the day. I don't like that camera. What do you mean? What's the quote? James Hill 19. Look at this. Where are you at? That's number 40. The camera. Wow. All right. Yeah. Hey, Nick, you want to say something to the world? There you go. <laughs> Don't worry, it was just live streaming on the net. I don't care, I had no shame. Can we wave at the camera? Sure. Got anything to say? Here we come, you two All right. So it, you're live streaming. I was on the live stream. Hey, uh, how y'all doing? Uh, we're doing from the good. Broadway. We out here. Shout out to Broadway. We're proud of ourselves. We're proud of ourselves. We've been here for four years. We've been in VR. Actually, we've been doing this for like 13 years, not just four. All right. You can't break ready to fake. I have one more. Uh, I miss Carl. Uh, Carl Shirt. Thank you. Thank you. You're live streaming. It's okay. How are you doing? I'm good. Proud of you, girl. Thank you. Mama's gonna want a picture. Hopefully, I can make it Saturday. Uh, yeah. Be we're, we're driving in on Saturday, so we should be able to make it. It's gonna be like, I think she said three to no, I think five. Yeah, I think it's five. So I think it, it'll make it so we can make it. You want to say anything to the world? I did it. <laughs> Larry, you got anything to say to your fan club? Brooks, you got something to say to the world? I would flip it off, but I'm not going to. No, you better not.
Let me know before What's happening? Got anything to say to the world? Enjoy it, man. You finally made it. You're good, brother. I'm proud of you. Hey, man, anytime. Now I gotta drive your brother. <laughs> Miss Fix, do you regret being mean to all these children? I'm sure. I'm glad you dressed up for the occasion. I'm just here to visit, man. I'm just here to visit. You know what he always say? He always say, man, I'm all the job. I used to watch it. You know what he say? You used to watch it. Come back from the fireworks. Are you excited to stop for the fireworks? Who the? What are you doing? Yeah. What's up, Dylan? Who? Coach Walker. When did you hear this morning? I was trying to think of people that I haven't seen Catherine would want to. I thought I saw him this morning, but there was a lot of people this morning. Yeah. I was trying to think of people who would want to get a picture with Catherine. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's here or not. If I if I locate him, I'll let him know. Okay. I could have swore I saw him this morning, but that's a lot of people. There's a lot of people.
it. Mama, I made it. <laughs> I made it, Mama. <laughs> for Keep on going. You gonna give me that little dance again? It's gotta have better music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> go. You don't like yourself on the jumbotron? Good stuff. I shall return. Good job, Will.
Okay, you can have a picture taken. <laughs> Okay. That's so cute. You're on the board, you're on the board. You're being podcasted, Brooks. Brooks, look at the big screen. Brooks, look at the big screen. Oh. I'm doing it, Behave yourself. Huh? Behave yourself. I will flip them off. Don't you do it. I will. You know I will. Don't do it. Your daddy will come back and spank Where you. Where is he? Hey, we, 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 should, we should do a little dance. You should. You should do like the truffle shuffle. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, you were here making fun of me earlier. Hey, you deserved it. <laughs> you just sit there making fun of me. <laughs> I'm going to keep following you. Sorry about that. Wait, 
Let's do like a. We did it. Hold on, we're not done. <laughs> you don't like taking pictures? Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. If if this was 35 mil, and we we would probably have 271. Hey, man. It's only one day, buddy. Ben, I thought you were on permanent break over there. You're not going to peace out at Hallsville, are you? No, no. <laughs> It's just the Jumbotron, don't worry about it. You shared that with everybody. <laughs>
Yeah, you can cut it off whenever you think. Nah, because I'm going to lock it up and set it on that uh, tripod as soon as it starts, right? Tempo. for
I didn't? Okay. It was your phone. It looked just like a phone. We will begin the commencement exercises in five minutes. In order to respect everyone at graduation, we ask that you stay out of the aisles and off the fence rail in front of the first row throughout the ceremony. You are allowed to take as many pictures as you would like from where you are sitting or standing. All guests will remain in the stands throughout the ceremony until the class of 2023 sponsored fireworks show is complete. At that time, you may come onto the field. In compliance with the law and HISD board policy FNA local, it is our responsibility to say that this student's freedom of expression at this point in the program is his or hers alone and does not reflect the endorsement, sponsorship, position, or expression of Hallsville Independent School District.
Good evening and welcome to the Hallsville High School graduation ceremony. Whether you're here in the stands or joining us virtually, I hope that you enjoy our graduation celebration as we honor the senior class of 2023. At this time, Abigail Watley will give the invocation. Please stand for the invocation and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. Please bow your heads and join me in prayer. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful night full of celebration and joy. We are so thankful for the journey that we have had the opportunity to take with each other these past four years. We come to you filled with gratitude for our friends and family who have encouraged us in our hardest moments and celebrated our successes alongside us. God. I thank you for the teachers, directors, coaches, and administrators who have poured into us all these years and all the hard work they have put into preparing us for this next season. Thank you for giving us the endurance to persevere through the many assignments and challenges in and out of school. We thank you for a night so filled with joy. Joy for what you've brought us through these past four years and joy for what you will bring us in this next chapter of our lives. I pray that you keep us safe as we gather here to celebrate our past accomplishments and our last night together as the class of 2023. As we embrace this next chapter of our lives, I pray that you provide us with guidance and wisdom. Thank you for every opportunity that you have given us and will continue to give us. And God, thank you for loving us unconditionally. We love you. In your amazing name I pray, amen. Please remain standing for the posting of the flags by our senior Eagle Scouts. Color Guard, advance. Prepare to post the colors. Post the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in honoring our great nation with the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light 
What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the rapids we watched, were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red breath, the bombs bursting in. Guard, return. Color guard dismissed. You may be seated. Good evening, and welcome everyone to the class of 2023's graduation ceremony. As I start off the night, I would like to take a moment to thank all of the important individuals who shaped, helped, and motivated each of us. To the teachers who have prepared us for this moment for the last 13 years of our lives, to the faculty and staff who have diligently worked behind the scenes to make Hallsville ISD the amazing district it is, to the parents and family members who have raised us and have anxiously awaited this heartfelt day, to my fellow classmates who sit before me, and most importantly, the Lord himself who has guided all of us towards this journey. Thank you. None of this would have been possible without you, and it is with great honor that I stand here today to welcome all of you to this special night which we've all prepared for. 23, the number we've had engraved in our minds since we were little but our minds did not comprehend what it was or how soon it would creep up on us. That's so far away, we would say. That number which seemed unimportant at the time eventually turned to this year. The year we'd become adults. The year of celebrating success, reminiscing on past memories and innocence. The year of looking to the future with the world calling our names. Graduation year, 2023. When we started school, none of us truly knew the significance of 23, but we grew up. We grew up yearning to be taller, smarter, and wishing to be like the big kids. We wanted nothing more than to be grown up and make our own rules, not knowing that it isn't as fun as it seems, and being a grown up is actually kind of scary. We didn't think that we'd be on our own one day. Even Taylor Swift tells us, you're on your own, kid. From our first day of kindergarten, where we learned to read, color inside the lines, and how to spell our names, to now, where we learn to drive by ourselves, get our first job, and are now graduating high school. All of these moments prepared us for tomorrow, where we are no longer students at HHS, but are in fact on our own. And now, our final bell has rung, and there is no more. See you next year. Before we knew it, that number 23 arrived. We are getting older, and now we will walk across this stage I stand on tonight. We really have grown and learned so much, and have faced many hardships. I mean, COVID took away our freshman year, and all of our classes were through a screen, which, let's be honest, we never actually did. We were so ready to not have to come back to school after spring break, not recognizing that there will be a day where we actually won't come back. But through that experience, we learned to step outside of the box and take what challenges we were given. We are a generation of change. We have the whole world lying at our fingertips, allowing us to be who we've dreamt to be, break social norms, and do what we want. We also learned that time is precious and to live our life to the fullest. So slow down. Before you know it, you're on your own. 
Many lessons have been taught and have allowed for us to excel through our years here. And no, I'm not talking about the Pythagorean theorem or that y equals mx plus b. Although those are important, there are other things we have learned through our years at Hallsville that can really stick with us all. Always stop at the stop signs. That is, unless you enjoy being chased by Leroy on his golf cart. Remember, every day is always a Friday at the HHS cafeteria. Be on time. Miss Parker may catch you slipping in at the last second. Make sure you are always on task. Elijah will fire you if not. And lastly, remain a cool kid because Ms. Stogner will definitely make sure of it. Through all the long hours of sitting in a classroom, we made memories and we didn't even know it. Many times asking for homework answers or for a piece of gum. All of the countless jokes and friendships we made when walking the halls. The amazing and unforgettable bonds with the teachers who were once strangers turned into mentors. And even on this very field where we sit, holds the memories of track days when we were young, running to get that blue ribbon. Friday night lights, scoring, down, scoring touchdowns, and celebrating with our friends, wearing the best costumes in the student section. And now the night we are handed our diplomas, toss our caps, and say goodbye one final time. These memories and experiences have all led us to be here, have shaped us into the amazing people we are today, and will be the precious memories and friendships we cherish a lifetime. As I stand here, I see all of the amazing people I've grown up with and see the bright futures which lie ahead each of us. You are the people who inspire me most, and you are the people who are my motivation to do big things in life. In fact, the next president of the United States, or next Elon Musk, may be sitting here before me. But no matter where you fit, where you were born, who you are, or who you will become, tonight we stand as one. We've been together the last 13 years of our lives, lost and gained some friends throughout, but no matter what, we will always be the class of 2023. Throughout the past four years, we've become incredible people and have hopefully been prepared for this big world that lies ahead of us. We are on our own. Although good dies are hard, old doors close so new ones may open. So rather than goodbye, let's say hello to the new adventure which we will take on tomorrow. Welcome to one of the best nights of our lives. Everything you lose is a step you take. So make the friendship bracelets, take the moment and taste it. You've got no reason to be afraid. You're on your own, kid. You can face this. Thank you. The salutatorian of the class of 2023 is Shiv Patel. With a grade point average of 5.619, he is being awarded the salutatorian medal by Counselor Angie Dockery. Good evening, everybody. It is an honor to be standing here as you salutatorian today. As I prepared for this speech, I realized that being salutatorian is a lot like being the second best at a party. You're still pretty great, but everyone knows who the real star is. And in this case, that star is our valedictorian, who I'm sure has a fantastic speech plan. But today, that's okay, because I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty great too. I would like to start by congratulating my fellow graduates for making it through this journey. We did it, guys. Without the support of our families, friends, teachers, and faculty, we could have never made it this far. And speaking of teachers, let's give a round of applause to the amazing educators who have helped us get where we are today. Their unwavering commitment to our education has made all the difference. Without them, we wouldn't be here. Throughout these four years, we have all become very close. We will have each other's backs for the rest of our lives, and we can always count on each other. I believe that no matter where we go from here, the Hallsville family will always be here for us. Some things will never change. There's always going to be Mr. Kelly's long hair and Ms. Rigsby's S-words. And still, we will change. But whether we return in five or ten years from now, we will still be loved and cared for, just like we are today. We survived four years of high school, and let me tell you, it wasn't always easy. 
we face countless challenges and obstacles along the way, from time writings and AP tests to the unique challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. And let's not forget the joys of online learning, where we got to attend class in our pajamas and act like we were paying attention while we were really scrolling through TikTok and playing video games. I'm sure we all have our fair share of embarrassing Zoom moments, like accidentally turning on our camera while in bed or forgetting to mute ourselves while eating, not to mention running around the house looking for good Wi-Fi. But hey, at least we didn't have to deal with the stress of finding a parking spot or running to make it on class on time with our backpacks weighing us down. At times, over the four years, it felt like we were exploring a never-ending maze with filled with challenges. While we're all excited to move on to the next chapter of our lives, we should take a moment to appreciate how far we've come. Remember the first day of freshman year? We were all lost, wandering around with our yellow schedules in hand, hoping to find the classrooms before the bells rang. But now as seniors, we walk through the school like it's our second home. It's amazing how much we've grown, both academically and personally. We somehow managed to survive Algebra 2 and pass the TSI. And did I mention AP test? Some might even say five AP test. No? Just me? Okay. Anyways, we've made new friends, discovered new passions, and challenged ourselves in ways that we never thought possible. And let's not forget about the life lessons we've learned. Like, procrastinating to the last minute is a perfectly acceptable way to live your life. Sure, you might fail a few tests, but at least you got to binge watch your favorite TV show, right? But seriously, don't listen to me. I learned that procrastinating is a terrible idea the hard way. I also learned that group projects are both the best and worst thing ever invented. On one hand, you get to work with your friends and bounce ideas off each other. On the other hand, you have to deal with that one person who never shows up to meetings and always forgets to do their part. You know who you are. As we move on to the next phase of our lives, I can't help but feel a little anxious. I mean, what if I'm not cut out for the real world? I know we're all scared about what the future holds, but by using the mindset high school has helped create, we can overcome this fear. The future can be filled with a plethora of excitement, hope, and success. The most useful thing high school has taught me is how a hard work and perseverance can get you. Before high school, I thought people were just naturally smart, or they got lucky. However, this is not true at all. They worked hard and persevered despite the obstacles they faced. Yes, we all have our dumb moments. Trust me, I've had my fair share of dumb moments. Some of you know them all too well. But in the end, perseverance is what gets us through our low points. From the very beginning, we were told that success in high school would require perseverance and effort to achieve our goals. And we did just that. We spent countless hours studying and writing papers all while juggling extracurriculars. We push ourselves to be better, to learn more, and to grow as individuals. But hard work is not just about academic achievement. Hard work brings success in life. It does not determine your rank on the field. We must always work hard, not just for a title or a rank, but to become the best, best version of ourselves. After so long, our hard work is paying off. We stand here today as graduates, with the skills, knowledge, and experience to succeed in whatever we choose to do next. High school has been an incredible journey, full of ups and downs, laughter and tears, and a whole lot of homework. But our journey is far from over. As we move into the next chapter of our lives, the value of hard work will continue to serve us well. We're going to face new challenges and obstacles, but we can approach them with the same hardworking mindset that has brought us this far and will allow us to navigate the ups and downs of life. Of course, shaping our own futures isn't going to be easy. It's also going to take a lot of caffeine. I mean, have you tried to function without caffeine? It's like trying to run a marathon with, that, with a broken leg. And let's not forget about energy drinks. I mean, they might not be good for us, but they sure do get the job done. Our time here has come to an end. It's time to move on to the next adventure. Some of us may be going to college, some may be entering the military, and others may be starting their nine to five. But wherever our paths are destined to lead us, we should never forget the memories we have made here and the people who have helped us along the way. We're just getting started, and the world awaits us with endless possibilities and opportunities. It is up to us to seize them and make our mark. So, my fellow graduates, as we move on to the next phase of our lives, let's remember to work hard, show perseverance, and always have caffeine. Let's make this future something we can look forward to and something we can be proud of. Class of 2023, let's go pursue our dreams and achieve the impossible. Thank you again for this amazing opportunity.
We would like to recognize the Hallsville Independent School District Board of Trustees. Please stand as I say your name. Jason Ainsworth. <laughs> Troy Crafton. <laughs> Lee Gall. <laughs> Shane Goswick. <laughs> Dale Haney. Doug McGarvey and Jay Nelson. Assisting me on stage are Superintendent of Schools, John Martin, Assistant Superintendent, Shauna Hiddle, Dean of Instruction, Amanda Clark, Career Technical Director, Kathy Gall. <laughs> Assistant Principals, Clay Nival, <laughs> Walker Plagg, <laughs> and Hannah Gist. <laughs> CCMR Coordinator, Kelly Graff. <laughs> High School Counselors, Emily Lansdale. Kimber Rice, Angie Dockery, and their secretary, Victoria Upchurch. And now I would like to recognize the staff of Hallsville ISD. Would you, would all Hallsville ISD employees please stand? We want to take a moment to recognize the accomplishments of the class of 2023. Honor graduates who have maintained a 4.6 average or higher for all of, high school, all of their high school courses, they're wearing gold cords. Honor graduates, please stand. Thank you. National Honor Society members are wearing white stoles. NHS members, please stand. Thank you. Students completing the requirements for the Distinguished Achievement High School program, please stand. Thank you. Texas scholars have completed four math courses, including Algebra II. They're wearing white ribbons with medallions. Texas scholars with merit have completed four more math courses with at least one math course higher than Algebra II. They're wearing a red, white, and blue ribbon with a medallion. Will all Texas scholars please stand? Thank you. Many of our students have already earned college credit by being enrolled in dual credit courses or by taking advanced placement tests. Would those students please stand? Thank you. AP capstone candidates are students who have met the capstone program requirements set forth by College Board and are eligible for the AP capstone diploma. Those students are wearing Kelly Green and Royal Blue cords. Will those students please stand? Thank you. We would like to acknowledge those students who have made the decision to serve our great nation by entering the armed forces. Would the young men and women who have committed to the U.S. Army, U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Navy, U.S. Air Force, and U.S. Coast Guard please stand to be recognized?
Thank you. The Hallsville ISD Education Foundation has recognized our top 10% students who in turn chose a special teacher to be recognized. The students are wearing special medals. Will those receiving the Hallsville ISD Education Foundation recognition and the teachers you recognize please stand. Thank you. Students who donated blood at least six times during high school to LifeShare Blood Center are wearing red and blue cord. Would those students please stand? Thank you. Students that are members of the National Speech and Debate Association are wearing red and white cords. Would those students please stand? Thank you. Students that have been members of the Future Farmers of America for two or more years are wearing blue and gold cords. Would these students please stand? Thank you. Students that are members of the Theater Honor Association are wearing gold and brown cords. Would these students please stand? Thank you. Students that are members of the National Art Honor Society are wearing red, blue, and yellow cords. Would these students please stand? Thank you. Students have, who have been in Z Club, Yearbook, Student Council, Bobcat Bills, or four years of a foreign language, will you please stand? Thank you. Students who have been certified in the following programs, please stand and be recognized. Phlebotomy, Pharmacology Technology, Cosmetology, Criminal Justice, Firefighters, EMTs, and Culinary. Thank you. As a result of their hard work and dedication, the class of 2023 continues a strong tradition of excellence by earning over $4.3 million in scholarships. If you have received a scholarship for future education endeavors, please stand. Thank you. Students, if you have attended Hallsville ISD from kindergarten through your senior year, will you please stand? Thank you. The class of 2023 continues to represent excellence in scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Would the class of 2023 please stand? Thank you. The valedictorian for the class of 2023 is Zachary Southern. With a grade point average of 5.733, he is being awarded the valedictorian medal by Counselor Angie Dockery. Good evening. Tonight is the night that we, as high school students, move on to bigger things in life. It is crazy, and I'm sure some of you, like myself, are still in denial that we are entering a new chapter in our lives. Graduates, I invite all of you to think about some people you will thank after graduation for their help in providing the right opportunities to help you grow and be here on this field tonight. First, I would like to thank the teachers, not just at the high school, but all of the teachers that have helped these students develop from their kindergarten years. I would like to thank our cafeteria workers for providing us with clean tables and food, and the custodians for dealing with all the problems and messes that students create. 
I would also like to thank Mr. Gibson, the assistant principals, the counselors, and the other staff members in the office who all play important roles in keeping this school from falling apart. These people have blessed me with a lot of fun and a lot of back and forth sass. Next, I'd like to thank my friends. Many of you asked for a shout out and some of you deserved it. These people are my friends that I have played too much Rocket League and FIFA with during our COVID year. The UIL math team that have provided me with support in strengthening my knowledge of complicated math and many others that have played alongside me in my athletic career. I also want to thank my girlfriend, Aubrey, who has helped me stop being such an introvert and learn how to have some fun during the school year. Last but definitely not least, I'd like to extend my gratitude to my parents. My dad has constantly urged me to chase after more in my education and in athletics and has been an inspiration to me by presenting himself as such a respectable man. Thank you for giving me a strong path to follow in my life. And my mom has helped me get out of bed when hitting snooze for five minutes turns into 20 or 30 minutes. But more importantly, she's helped me plan for my future by knowing more than me about the steps that I need to take to prepare for the next day, the next week, and even the next year with college coming in hot. Thank you, Mom, for pushing me when I was just sleeping through my own life and showing me my full potential. I believe a football career, at least until the end of high school, consists of three seasons and very closely resembles the journey that is K through 12 schooling. Pee Wee football, the start of just about every football player's career and serves as the first season. Generally, it consists of little kids running around like chickens with their heads cut off, but with helmets that make the kids look like bobbleheads. The kids don't know how to tackle, they are often scared of contact, and the games are the only part they want to participate in. The second season is junior high football. Nobody's position is locked in. One week you may be playing offense, and the next week you find yourself on the other side of the ball. But no matter where you find yourself, you have to keep working hard in order to make it to high school. The third and final season that everyone hopes to end sometime in the winter is, high, is the high school season. From playing on the freshman team all the way to the end of the senior varsity games, a family is formed, mistakes are made, and each player's persistence is tested. For most athletes, experience plays a big part in the amount of skill that you have. So usually, their senior year is the most successful year. As an athlete, the most important part of this year for me was our playoff game in Melissa. As I took the field, all I could think about was how cold it was, how the last time Hallsville had been to the playoffs was seven years ago when my brother was on the team, and how the stands were filled with what seemed to be the whole population of Hallsville. Unfortunately, the game was coming to a close, and we were losing. While the offense was on the field, I was on the sideline crying and slamming my helmet on the ground out of frustration because my season was soon to be over. I remembered saying to Coach Hutch, I don't get it. I don't understand why I've given my all and it hasn't been enough to win this game. These aren't his exact words, but he basically told me, if you hadn't given your best, we wouldn't have gotten here in the first place. I didn't realize the depth of what he was saying until months later, but I believe he wasn't referring to the team being in the playoffs. He was referring to how I had grown as a player and a teammate. Up until this past year, I shied away from contact and regretted it. Coach Hutch knew that, as he had coached me the year before, and I realized now that when he spoke to me that night in the freezing cold playoff weather, he was talking about how much better I had played this season. I had grown because of my ability to learn from my mistake of shying away from contact instead of merely regretting it and repeating the same mistakes. Graduates, we must all learn from our past. We can look back to elementary school, the first season. We had to learn how to add and subtract, learn the alphabet, things like that. We ran around with, like chickens with their heads cut off during recess and then came back inside and colored outside the lines. And all we looked forward to was going home to play games with friends. Then the second season came. A lot of people had changes in friend groups. People moved in, moved out, or even just had changes in interests. School seemed to get harder, and the homework that I've heard some of you never did started to be sent home routinely. And no matter how stressed we were, we just had to keep pushing towards high school. Finally, four years ago, we made it. High school, the last season. We have been the disgusting freshmen that everyone despises, whether there's a reason to or not, we survived COVID and eventually made it to our senior year. This has been the goal all these years, and now we can look back on everything that we have done. You may see tears tonight,
but I encourage you to enjoy this moment and not be sad. Right now, we should be proud that we get the honor to walk across the stage, and we should be excited that we can look forward to the future. With these seasons in our past, mistakes have been made, and I hope that all of you here tonight will learn from these mistakes and make the upcoming season of your life that much better. I urge you to face challenges where they are presented to you, leave regret on the sidelines, and learn from mistakes when they happen. Whatever path of life you find yourself on after tonight, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Graduates, please stand. As principal of Hallsville High School, I certify to you, Mr. Martin, that 317 students have completed the coursework required by the Texas Education Agency to receive a diploma in the state of Texas. Do you and the members of the Board of Trustees accept my recommendation? Mr. Gibson, I accept your recommendation and confirm the class of 2023. Students, you may be seated. Amanda Clark, if you would come to the podium. Students, prepare to receive your diploma. Zachary Blake Southard. Shiv Paresh Patel. Vishnu Dharmesh Patel. Sophia Zizimer. Ethan Waldron Caswell. Blakely Page Molinex. Haley Emma Wink. Anna Grace McFarland. Tristan Lauren Cook. Presley Porter Carey. Annabelle Lee Sutton. Cole Thomas Zelliger. Marshall William Morris. Natalie Corina Greenig. Skylar Grace Vines. Annabelle Jane Elaine Phillips. Sadie Elizabeth Stanitz. Segundo Reyes Vega. Britton James Coulter. Aubrey Lauren Margison. Brianna Ruth Morris. Riley Benjamin Van Poole. 
Ethan Riley Holder. Summer Hope McArthur. AJ Grady Hendricks. Hunter Drake Scott. Katherine Emma Thomas. Alexa Nicole Moore. Ezekiel Mora. Kaysen Grace Peacock. Maddie Blaine Atkins. Michaela Nicole Minju. Caitlin Rose DeStefano. Jack Tucker Hunt. Courtney Taylor Hardy. Mia Nicole Ferrero. Alyssa Danielle Kranz. Stephen Davis. Riley Christine Henry. Anatole Dawn Herta. Ashlyn Taylor Maroney. Clayton Paul Hendricks. Miley Ann Anderson. Matthew Todd Minyard. Jacob Winters Seal. Brian Wayne Lewis. Brody Lucas Slayton. Maylee Alien Player. Mason Blaine Clark. Elijah Jeffrey Whittle. Elena Elizabeth McGrade. Trey Robert Crafton. Abigail Lee Watley. Charlie Lynn Baker. Logan Franklin Kendrick. Megan Faith Christman. Abby Grace Anderson. Chloe Janae Reynolds. Avery Brooke Perkins. Cesar Armando Quiros. Jackson Lee Holiday. Kaylee Elizabeth Loomis. Yeah. 
Ashley Marie Gunter. Olivia Ann Simmons. Cadence Joy Stewart. Hudson Daniel Trawick. Catherine Michelle Winters. Addison Louise Boyle. Bailey Brianne Ferguson. Emma Grace Brown. Luana Waipa Akana Fu. Aiden Troy T Terry. Garrett Logan Hart. Pamela Miyoko Keolilani Aquin. Elizabeth Marie Hutton. Claire Olivia Sherwood. Connor Ford White. Mackenzie Renee Oni. Farron May Stevenson. Gabriella Rabadon. Elizabeth Page Bombard. Chloe Elizabeth Bonner. Pablo Lopez. Cole Brian Monroe. Luke Aaron Cheatham. Taylor Marie Huffman. Abigail Grace Jeffcoat. Joshua Benjamin Avedikian. Natalie Elizabeth Brandon. Misael Adame. Jose De Jesus Alvarez Mendez. Blanche Abigail Anderson. Samantha Nicole Anderson. Ubaldo Ayala. Jackson Donald Baker. Catherine Estelle Barrett. Olivia Grace Barron. Anthony Mateo Benevente. Jordan Bo Bennett. Sage Darnaya Bennett. Ian Tyler Benson. Cassie Marie Berry. Kira Dawn Bird. 
James Landon Bowden. Savon Shamari Bradford. Dylan Matthew Branch. Rochelle Renee Brettnocker. Zachary Mason Brissett. Jalen Damone Britt. Peyton Blue Broad. William Earl Brown Jr. Austin Corley Bront. Caleb Scott Bront. Carly Ann Bryant. Caitlin Ann Bryant. Mackenzie Jordan Bryant. Peyton Elizabeth Bryant. Blade Ashton Bullard. <laughs> Nicholas Alton Bunch. Samantha Ann Oliver Bunzel. Davis Allen Buttram. William Barrett Campbell. Caleb Michael Carlton. Christian Alexander Carrington. Kenzie Lynn Carter. Vivian Grace Carter. Kaylee Jade Castro. Riley Elizabeth Charles. Caden Anthony Chatham. Logan Fur Clark. Ryan Matthew Clark. Carly Joe Cobb. Destiny Alexis Cohurst. Connor Allen Colbert. Bailey Michelle Cole. Kara Brooke Collins. Austin Grant Comer. Wyas Weiss Anthony Comer. Kelsey Lene Cook. Cade Markham Copeland. Carlton Richard Day. Michaela Marie Deaton. Denise Lopez Diaz. Diego Miguel Diaz. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Caden Finley Drake. Landon Lee Duggar. Wade Paul Dyer. Ireland Scholar Edney. Cade Austin Edwards. Maddox Anthony Ellis. Gavin Ron Enslow. Shaylee Nicole Erickson. 
Samuel Hector Esparza. Kimberly Christina Estes. Carla Estrada. Rainy Dawn Evans. Breland DeMonte Fagan. Tori Jade Fuschenberger. Abigail Elizabeth Flowers. Emily Page Ford. Connor Joseph Foreman. Trinity Summer Ann Fountain. Alex Kate Freeman. Bianca Lee Fullerton. Ezra Christian Lee Gayton. Gabriella Elizabeth Garcia. Ashton Pierce Garza. Victoria Deborah Leanne Geiselman. Lillian Bell Gervais. Charles Chiru Gitogo. Madison Grace Gold. Isaac Rudolph Greer. Caitlin Lee Griffith. Nathaniel Colleen Gillian. Jaden Elizabeth Hahn. Luke Caleb Hamilton. Jaden Hope Harris. Kylie Ray Habruge. Jacob Daniel Hensley. Carson Ryan Hess. James Michael Hilberg. James Briar Howell. Michael Wayne Huckabee. Jace Kenny Jackson. Wesley James Jackson. Unique Monet Jackson. Nicholas Taylor Jacobus. Elijah Ray Jenkins. Jack Leon Jeter III. Mackenzie Lynn Johnson. Drew Allen Jones. Andrew Robert Jordan. Journey Lee Keener. Sean Anthony Santos Kelly. Landon Allen Curry. Onwin Leona Kramer. Connor Brent Lambert. Anthony Jacorian Lee. Byron Parrish Locke. 
Emma Marie Logan. Shade Diamante Long. Kelly Nicole Lopez Medina. Miguel Lopez. Jennifer Itzel Magdaleno Cruz. Mackenzie Leanne Martin. Jose Ernesto Martinez Jr. Christopher Allen Maxwell. Rylan Will McLean. Broderick Allen McMahon. Cortavian Leon McMillan. Kinsey Brianne McNeil. Laker Jean McPherson. Colin Axel Menges. Evan Matthew Mewborn. Hayden Sullivan Midgley. Hunter Lane Mobley. Destiny Hope Montoya. Jeremiah Montoya. Amaris Celeste Mora. Dylan Joseph Morales. Stephen David Morris III. Jace Aaron Mosley. Gael Enrique Munez. Audra May Nance. Ricardo Incanyason Navarro. Emma Jean Neal. Lucy Ann Neal. Lipinski. Wesley Eugene Lipinski Neal. Zion Lynn Nicholson. Tabitha Jean Noel Ratcliffe. Jackson Shane Norton. Nicole Aurora Nunez. Ivan Jose Olvera. Lynette Altonia Miracle Owens. Bradley Elizabeth Pelea. Christopher Thomas Piddleton. Kinley Grace Pessel. Camille Renee Petty. Ashlyn Grace Pickett. Ellie Rebecca Pierce. Chesney Grace Pipkin. Caleb Austin Powell. 
Damian Michael Perda. Dawson Lynn Price. Alexander Ramirez. Briseida Ramirez. Kevin Giovanni Ravadon Oliveras. Callan Creek Reed. Adriana Renee Renfro. Logan Dell Rex. Devante Dontrell Richardson. Jaden Taylor Ridgeway. Autumn Grace Roberts. Zion Michelle Robinson. Micah Noel Rogers. Weston Brian Rogers. Sarai Salas Sanchez. Alan Wayne Salee. Jason Romero Salmaron Hernandez. Emilio Fortino Sanchez Gonzalez. Christopher Levon Schockler. Landon Daniel Schwint. Samantha Gray Scott. Michael Lee Sloan. Jacob Christopher Adam Smith. Mason Patrick Lynn Smith. Isaiah Jacob Solis. Laney Marie Stone. Cole Christian James Stout. Jagger Zedek Stuchman. Abby Elizabeth Summers Thornton. James Michael Taylor. Nicholas Edward Taylor. Trenton Mason Taylor. Olivia Leanne Tennyson. Robin Lee Thornton. Madison Faith Trahan. Landon Allen Tucker. Tatum Avery Tut. James Michael Upchurch. Gabriel Anthony Updike. Adriana Lynn Vasquez. Brooks Michael Vaughn. Jacob Maximo Vasquez. Randy Vasquez. Nevaeh Mercy Vincent. Blake Tyler Voss. JC Alexander Walker. Jasmine Cheyenne Weeks. 
Brendan Sheridan Kinlow Weinstein. Grayson Thomas Worth. Naima Jania White. Dominique DeStar Wiley. Sue Anna Maria Wilkes. Matthew Ryan Willett. Brendan Cade Williams. Mariana Lakia Williams. Talia Nicole Williams. Colton Garrett Williamson. Kaylee Lane Wilson. Kendall Lynn Wilson. Caleb Wayne Wimsey. Gregory Daniel Worth. Christian Ryan Trey Wood. Jillian True Woodruff. Chloe Dakota Wright. How about a round of applause for the class of Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank the class of 2023 for my new rubber duck collection. Never forget you guys. We're going to leave this guy right there. <clears throat> Graduates, please stand. Turn your tassels from the right side to the left side to commemorate this milestone. All right, Hallsville, everyone join me in congratulating the Hallsville High School graduating class of 2023. Let me hear you. Audience, please stand for the benediction and remain standing for the alma mater. Now, please bow your head with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful school, for the wonderful educators, for our amazing parents, and for each person who worked in our lives daily to ease our struggle. We thank you for the amazing class of 2023 and the memories we are making here tonight. We want to thank you for your unfailing love and your constant presence in our lives. Help us remember that every pain we face in life will be for a purpose. 
I can't wait to see what you have in store for everyone here tonight. As we get ready to embark on a new adventure, whether it's college, trade school, starting a new job, or just taking some time to figure out what your plan is for us, we ask that you guide us on each path. We ask that you help, real, help us realize true success doesn't come from earthly possessions or accomplishments, and help us realize that our most important job will be to show love and forgiveness to others the way you have shown the same to us. Thank you for everything you are, for everything you do, and for everyone here. We love you. Amen. If you do not know the Hoswell High School alma mater, it can be found in your program. seated. After the hat toss, the senior class has sponsored the Senior Celebration Fireworks finale to honor the senior class of 2023 one last time. During the fireworks finale, no one will be allowed on the front fence in, in front of row one and no one will be allowed on the track or football field until after the fireworks show is completely finished. After the fireworks show is completed, all guests are welcome to the field and track. Thank you for your attention to this expectation. Seniors, just a reminder, you will receive your diploma during the fireworks show. Please remain in your seat until the conclusion of the show. Thank you for your attention to this expectation. Aubrey Margison will come at this time for the hat toss speech. Taylor Swift once said, this is a big world. That was a small town. There in my rearview mirror, disappearing now. For some of us, this may be true. You may be packing up your big dream bags come August and never looking back. You may be heading to serve our country or traveling abroad or even staying home to work. You may be dreading that day in August or you may be eager to leave the past behind and begin your new journey. No matter what your feelings are as a new graduate, there are a few things you should never let disappear or forget in your rearview mirror. For one, you should never forget the persistent educators that showed up every day to school, ready and equipped for every lesson, lab, or lecture. You should never forget your parents that made you study, despite your eye rolls. You should never forget those friends who showed up to your band recital, cross-country race, community show, volleyball tournament, tennis match, Miss Hallsville pageant, or even to Pikes or Skinner's class to let you draw their blood. And we absolutely cannot forget the faithful residents of Hallsville who donated to our fundraisers, made us meals, served us coffee, cut our hair, or pulled us over for speeding. Yes, I've seen y'all in the high school parking lot, and all I have to say is slow down. Anyways, the most important thing we should never forget is how far we've come. Although in the rear view, always remember that feeling you had after acing a test you forgot to study for, or how amazing your dish turned out in culinary after it looked a little undercooked. Remember the time you scored a winning touchdown, hit a clutch three, made a one on your solo, caught a tournament winning bass, 
nailed a penalty kick, went to state for student council, or received a national chapter recognition. Oh, and although most of us would rather sometimes forget, remember those high school crushes, those failed talking stages, and those tragic breakups. In the end, all these moments have shaped us into who we are today. And today, we are officially graduates. When life hits you in the face after you get in that big world, think about the times you remained persistent and never gave up. That is something you shouldn't ever let disappear in your rear view. Now that I've addressed my classmates, I'd like to share with the audience some unforgettable moments in the class of 2023's high school career. One that we are all thinking of is the coronation of 2020. That was rough. From the fluffy coffee trends to the self-cut bangs and all of our assignments online, COVID was more than just quarantine. It was an entire experience. We survived, clearly. One good outcome of COVID was exemption from star tests. I know half of y'all did not do Miss Howard's reading notes and you rejoiced when they announced no biology star. We also survived wearing masks every day of sophomore year, missing our friends after the nurses found out they were exposed and sent them home to naps we wished we could obtain ourselves. And then we dreadfully took our first round of high school star tests. And we can't forget the snowpocalypse. Junior year is when most of us finally started understanding senioritis as we battled AP, dual credit, Algebra 2, or a TSI, then the best came, the best year yet, and the one that flew by the quickest. The most important year, in my opinion, grad year. The queen died, the dress code lightened, we had to pay for lunch again, and some of us got bruises from senior fun day water balloons. You know who you are if you threw those. Despite the crazy four years we faced, here we are. Graduating. Finally, I'd like to end this speech with some encouragement, possibly a little bad news. First Timothy 4.12 states, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. I'd like to tell you something that you might not have heard yet, and that is that out there in the real world, life will never be perfectly smooth. It's gonna suck sometimes. It's gonna get lonely and difficult and you might think you're having a midlife crisis like 20 years early. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but there is not a Quizlet for these types of problems. You will be told you are not good enough, not experienced enough, not old enough for an opportunity. You will face people with opposing views who refuse to show you kindness because of your beliefs. You will meet people who you'd like to throw a dodgeball at their face. And not those soft ones that curve right when they leave your hand, those ones we used to play kickball with that are red and bouncy. But then, if you're like me, you'll remember, what would Jesus do? Or you'll remember you'll get arrested or fired. <laughs> when you face these situations, I encourage you to think back to this verse. Remember how you, Hallsville High School's class of 2023, can refuse to be torn down for who you are or how old you are. The class that sets an example for how Mr. Gibson would say, be a coffee bean, or as Coach Long would say, put your big girl panties on. The class that remembers how hard they fought for successes these four years and is determined to succeed. Finally, the class that loves their neighbor as themselves and pursues whatever they are passionate about without fear of failure. Class of 2023, it has been an honor to go to school alongside you all these years and grow into wonderful young men and women. Thank you for the help with the assignments, the pep rallies, the love and support all these years. As you look around, take it all in. This will be the last time we are all together in one place. Cherish these memories and moments and friendships. You never went know when you'll see these people again, and you will never be in the same situation again. So, let's celebrate. Let's toss our caps as new graduates. Let's be here together one last time. So, with all that being said, 
Please stand. Unleash that hat hair. Okay, we're going to toss our caps on the count of three. Count with me and don't cry. One, two, three.